back. Charlie Leftridge joining us now from the Carnegie Art Center. And Charlie, so nice for you to come on. Thank you um, for having me. So yeah. can you tell us just a little bit about um, what is pop and art brunch? What's <laughs> it for? Like, I love the I love the idea behind it too. Yeah. So what's, what's the deal with that? Totally, so it's our first uh, fundraising event of this kind mm -hmm. and it's a brunch. So, mm. I mean, who doesn't love brunch? Mm -hmm. I personally <laughs> love brunch. Yeah. Um, but the whole idea is that we're celebrating the kinds of experiences we do at the Carnegie in a way that helps uh, us fundraise for this really unique building in which we offer our experiences. So the Carnegie was built back in 1901. It's a beautiful historic building, but needs a lot of love. So we thought, what's a really fun way to uh, celebrate art and also raise some money uh, in kind of a unique way. So uh, it's a brunch style fundraiser, uh, and we're just so excited because it's gonna have lots of other um, moving parts, lots of arts experiences. Mm. And you say that this is one of the first ever fundraisers that the Carnegie Art Center is having. Why have we been waiting so long to do something like this and where will those funds go? Totally, great question. So they have uh, in the past raised funds for different specific projects. Um, mm -hmm. For example, in 2016, we had an elevator put in. Mm -hmm. So things like that. But in terms of having an event where we invite the community to come in and support the larger operations, uh, it's kind of our first time trying that out. And so the funds are specifically there to help us uh, maintain our building. So uh, again, a beautiful historic building. We love what we get to do there. But mm -hmm. you know, it needs a lot of love. Uh, new roof, new windows, all these different things. So it's just kind of a fun way of uh, not only celebrating art but uh, putting money towards this really amazing community mm -hmm. asset. Yeah, and I've really I've I've seen the work that you do, or the way that you kind of use your own artistry um, yeah. in in that building. <laughs> and so, um, how is it uh, kind of changing the space from um, you know just like a, an art gallery to? you know, having tables and chairs, and totally. are you gonna be having tables and chairs? Like, <laughs> yeah, like what do you yeah. mean by brunch style? Like, what is what is gonna yeah, happen? Yeah, so uh, we're so fortunate. Susu Sadaka is mm. gonna be providing the food. Uh, delicious, we're so excited. <laughs> but it'll be a uh, grazing style, so uh, kind of different stations with really beautiful artistic food choices mm. uh, and places to sit, but you can also wander the space. We have an amazing exhibit up. We're gonna have live art being created. Mm. So it's a really neat way, I think, of, um, kind of experiencing the space, having great food, brunch style, but uh, you can kind of cater your own, or I guess curate your own experience. Interesting. Yeah. And I feel like that's how it really is at the Carnegie yeah. too. Like it's really kind of however you want it to be. Yeah. Right. I really like that you're embracing that too. And going to the event, you said that art will be displayed and people will be doing art themselves, right? Will that art be for sale afterwards? Yeah, so there's gonna be live art created uh, in real time um, and that piece will be for sale. We'll also be doing um, a masterpiece art poll. So uh, you can put in for a mystery art piece Ooh. and uh, it's gonna be a really kind of a, a fun event because um, essentially you don't know what you're getting, mm. but you'll put in your money, mm. you'll get a balloon animal that you get to pop, Mm -hmm. And then a number will be in there. Oh, and cool! So, oh, and then that's your yeah, piece. and all those pieces were created and donated by local artists. Oh my so gosh! It's a very, very cool way to again kind of uh, highlight the really amazing artwork that's created in our community, mm -hmm. and you get to take a piece of that home with you too. Oh. And so, how can people sign up um, for this event? And are tickets still available? Yeah, we do have tickets available, um, and you can sign up online uh, at thecarnegiemankato.com. Mm -hmm. uh, tickets are sixty-five and that comes with a uh, free mimosa that will get handed to you at the door. Ooh, beautiful. Um, fancy. Food, yes. <laughs> uh, and uh, yeah, like I said, just a lot of really fun experiences. So definitely check it out. It's going to be a blast. All right. Well, thank you so much, Charlie. And we will be right back after the break.